Hi, I'm here today to bring you the latest fashion tech news that you need to know. My name is Anina and I'm the CEO of 360 Fashion Network. Before we start, if you want to receive this news roundup regularly, then hit that like button and smash that follow as we will be bringing you this news every week to keep you in the know of the top stories we think are important. Alright, first up, three-part, modular sneakers for the circular economy, in a bid to increase product life, encourage customization, and switch from traditionally disposable to renewable footwear, Diogo Pimenta introduces layers. The modular sneakers consist of only three components, the sole, the outer sole, and the cut. News source, design boom, pools are massive energy hogs. Heating them up, and keeping them warm, is a costly expense, especially for cities operating large public pools. Places like Toronto are reconsidering how these huge energy users are powered. The Northeast Scarborough Community and Child Care Center, now under construction in Toronto, will be Ontario's first net-zero energy consuming community recreation facility with swimming pools when it opens in 2024. The pools also use electric air source heat pumps, which transfer heat to or from outside air to quickly generate heat for the pool. For the same amount of energy, these highly efficient heat pumps can produce three times the heat of a conventional fossil fuel-based heating system. News source, Fast Company, industrial designer Ryden Chain made it his mission to uncover solutions that would enhance our relationship with daily, physical objects. One of them is the Polyformer, a 3D printed and open source machine that recycles PET bottles into plastic filaments. It can be built using mostly 3D printed parts and easily obtainable 3D printer components so that most makers can set it up themselves. The machine is fully engineered to work with 3D printed parts. News source, Design Boom, UK-based smart activewear startup Reving, launched in January this year, combines luxury activewear and wearable technology to help users analyze their workouts and their recovery rates. A sensor and metal stitching in Prevail Activewear analyzes heart rate, body temperature, breathing rate and other metrics, accessible on an app. A sports bra with integrated sensor retails at £220. Prevail, which is based in Manchester, secured £7.5 million in seed funding in July 2021 led by Stonebridge. Prevail's body check feature breaks down body data to tell users how hard they should train on any given day and when it's time to rest and recover. Prevail created a members-only private community designed for amateur athletes and the sporting elite. It's limited its first wave of users to 700 people. News source, Engadget, Los Angeles startup Portal offers a window to the metaverse, enabling people to shop in their three-dimensional form on the other side of the globe. And of course without any time delay. The Portal M provides easy accessibility for volumetric communications between businesses and ordinary people beaming themselves to a location thousands of miles away. As they mentioned on their site, you can call it telepresence, or even holoportation. Portal M will be commercially available in spring coming with a start price of $2,000. News source, Design Boom, and that's it for today. If you want to get the full top 10 fashion tech news items of the week, check out our new podcast 360 Fashion or go to 360 Fashion. Net podcast or search for it on your favorite podcast platform. Don't forget to subscribe so that you won't miss our latest episode. Get to